I want to get a call like that, like someone wants to hurt your, your kid. Three students at Woodmont Middle School in Piedmont face charges accused of making threats by the Greenville County Sheriff's Office. Yeah, they're accused of making lists threatening specific classmates. 7 News reporter Ann Maxwell spoke with a parent who says their child was on one of those lists. Ann. Gordon, Diane, that mother says this has been very difficult. Those students accused of making these lists are suspended, but she says she hopes they get expelled. Two lists containing the names of Woodmont Middle School students and at least one faculty member have resulted in charges against three students accused of making them. The first list was turned in to administrators last week, according to Greenville County School spokesperson Beth Brotherton. That investigation led to the discovery of another list. My son was on the second list. Portia Moore says she got a call from the principal about it Friday. My heart just sank into my stomach, and then as she went further with the details, I mean, I was just like lifeless almost. One of the students accused of making the first list is also accused of making the second list, Brotherton said. By Friday, three students had been suspended. We asked the sheriff's office about what the list said. A spokesperson wouldn't give specifics, but they did tell us the lists were threatening. Moore says they were hit lists, and she had to break the news to her son. His first response was, Mom, someone's trying to kill me. And so just to hear that from your son, I mean, that's my baby. I mean, he's... 12 years old, that's my first baby. She says she's scared for his safety. You don't know who else has these thoughts. You don't know who else she conversed with or the other, in, other people involved converse with. You know, you just don't know. I mean, I'm at a point now, like, do I send my son to school? Do I take him out? Do I put him in another school? I just don't know. All three of those students charged have been recommended for an expulsion hearing. That's scheduled for next week. From 7 on Main and Maxwell, 7 News. All right, Ann, thank you. The names of the students you may have noticed, we have not named them. It's because they are minors. New tonight.